Hey, this is Dr. Popular. Welcome to another episode of Postagram Tips and Tricks, where we talk about our favorite tricks to get the most out of your mobile photography. Uh, usually we like to talk about how you can use uh, this app or that app to tweak a photo. What we're going to do today is actually talk about how to use some cool real world hacks to get the most out of your, your cell phone's camera lens. So one of the first things we'll talk about is through the viewfinder, which is also called TTV. Through the viewfinder is simply taking a camera. Uh, this is an old uh, twin reflex camera. Uh, and shooting through the viewfinder with another camera. Now, the cool thing about the twin reflex cameras is they have huge viewfinders on here. So you take your other camera, line up, so you're shooting the viewfinder, which is shooting your subject, and you take your shot. Now, the cool thing about this type of photography is you can do this with any type of camera at all, a DSLR or you know, an iPhone or an Android, but the things you can't do it, with a larger camera is actually do through the viewfinder with smaller viewfinders. Now these are the types of viewfinders that most cameras have and because of these small lens on your mobile phone you can actually line it up with the viewfinder on a smaller viewfinder and take a picture that's pretty cool from here. So this will give you a lot more options for cameras that you can use. You, you probably have a few old cameras lying around like this, you might not have a twin reflex camera lying around. Uh, and not all of these cameras are going to give you great effects, uh, but sometimes you'll find one with a polarized viewfinder or uh, just cool scratches and dust. Um, just something to really kind of give an interesting retro or, or vintage look to your phone without using a filter. This next trick is a great one for getting microscopic uh, photography. Now, there are lenses that you can use out there like the Olo Clip and the Photo Jojo sets that have macro lenses that'll let you get really close to your subject like a bug or a penny or whatever and get, get kind of that microscopic view. Uh, if you don't have one of those, something you can do is actually just take your, your cell phone and a drip of, we are not liable for any damage if you put water on your, I'm just saying we're not liable. So you're going to take your phone and just put a little tiny drip of water directly onto the lens. You're just gonna slowly turn your camera over and the drip will stay right on top of the lens. So from here, you are going to find your subject and get really close to it, closer than you normally would be able to. And once you get to something you like, the final step is you're, you're still going to want to do your manual focus. Tap on the screen and take your photo. Thanks for watching another episode of Postagram Tips and Tricks with me, Dr. Popular. Uh, we hope that you got a lot out of this episode. There's a lot of cool things with the water droplet and the TTV. Uh, if you take any good shots, share them with us. You can send them to us through uh, Instagram or Twitter. We're at Postagram or share them with us on our blog, postagramapp.com. Speaking of Postagrams, we actually got a ton of new Postagrams since the last episode. Uh, these are from various Insta meets from all over the world. Paris, Minneapolis, Oakland. Uh, here's one from New York from Partially Sane. Thanks everybody for sending us your Postagrams. We love them. Send us more and we'll feature them on the show. Thanks so much. We out.